Good afternoon everyone, we've got ourselves another Logomotive review. If you've watched the previous one uh, on the Deltic, you'll hear that I mentioned about a review on a Hornby Class 91. And here that is, uh, this is obviously the LNER one, uh, 91118, the Fusiliers. Um, this model has mixed reviews. I personally think it's outstanding compared to the old one. The old model was absolutely rubbish um, in comparison to this. Um, the I've had a few of the old ones, uh, GNER and Intercity. I still do actually own an Intercity one, uh, which is in storage. Um, and I, I still think the original one's nice. But honestly, people, you got to admit, this is a real upgrade to the old one. Um, there is a f like, few things they probably could have done better. But everyone makes mistakes when they make models. Hornby make more, more than others. Um, so I've now got four of these. Uh, so I've got an L in the R one. I've got four of the Fallen uh, in the Virgin VTech one. Don't understand why they've done that because they aren't bringing VTEC coaches out. So, obviously, it's for the Fallen with the little Virgin logo at the back here. Um, so, what I've done, I've actually managed to purchase another one for about 180 quid. Um, and I'm going to have a little bit of a play of it. So, I'm going to do the white lines on the, the buffers and fade out the Virgin and probably use that one and then keep the other one for display or just keep it mint as a collector's item uh unfortunately with hornby as always uh 91 118 is one of the 91s that isn't actually in service anymore um i do believe it's one that's either stored uh someone will obviously tell me um i think as of now there's only one that's been cut up um the others are in storage uh, it would have been nice if um, they'd have done one that was still in service, but it is what it is. So actually, the only model they're bringing out that is in service is 91101, but by the time that comes out, it's already now been rep repainted into LNER, the new Intercity colours. Anyway, so they actually haven't got a 91 that's up to up to date <laughs> so there we are anyway so i think the lner model is really nice um that we've currently got the cab light on at the moment i think that's quite bright probably a little bit too bright but it's nice that it's yellowed down so it's not too bad we've got them lovely directional lights so we'll just switch them the other way so obviously the cab light will go out and then you've got these lovely tower lights on the front and then obviously if we move to the other end, this is just on our test track here, um, we've got our forward facing lights, the angry looking the angry looking end, I do love the blunt end with the directional light in there, and obviously the cab is illuminated this end. And then if we just pop it the other way, we've got them tower lights. Fantastic detail on the model, um, obviously... I'd say it's mixed reviews on this model. It should have this, it should have that for a £200 model, blah de blah de blah. They're all expensive. I mean, I got them a Cura Scale, D, a Cura Scale D Deltics, and they are phenomenally it's, um, uh, detailed for £250. I think they're amazing. Obviously, a bit more than that now on eBay. So, obviously, they're sold out everywhere. But for a model that's been refined, and I think it's a lot better than the original, that it's the price you've got to pay, unfortunately. Um, Batchman are now bringing out what they call their deluxe models. I've bought 37 430. I've still got to do a review of that. Sand fitted deluxe with wagon fans and the tinted windows. Well, that was 315 quid. Don't really anyone, anyone complain about the deluxe Batman models. Uh, I've got a BR Blue 47, which uh, is lower down. I have reviewed that as a deluxe. I don't think that was worth the money, 
but the 37 I do I think the 37 is really nice uh, that but the 47 I just can't see much difference because the 47 was always good anyway anyway this video isn't about that this video is about the 91 and I think if you want an up-to-date sort of LNER class 91 with the nine coaches which I have got and the Mark IV DVT, which I've got, uh, which is in the wardrobe. Um, I I think it looks amazing. And there is people out there that are happy with this model. I, I like it. I love it. Anyway, so this model, uh, we've had a little bit of a tinker around with it this morning. Can't get two of the screws back in because my screw <laughs> um the... It has got a magnetic tip on it, but for some reason the screws aren't magnetising to it. But there we are. Um, I have tried, but I just need to get the two front screws back in, but I just can't to, can't seem to do it. Anyway, so this model has got a roads and rails um, DCC sound decoder fitted into the model. Um, comes with the speakers pre-fitted to the decoder. All you got to do is plug it in and place your speakers in. Um, the sound on this is very good. Uh, obviously, being electric, it's minimal. So um, we'll start off with number one, which is uh, just basically drive on and off. So there are generators and the compressors. So we've got two horns. The horn is really loud. So uh, we'll play a couple of them. I think the horn is really good, I caught that quite well. Uh, so we've got buffering up when moving, playable active brake application when moving, brake and dump. When stationary, driver's door slam at number function 6, compressor is function 7, function 8 not in use. Function 9 is automatic flange squeal. You'll see that that's while moving. We've got um, dispatch whistle, uh, which is function 10. Usual. Uh, function 11, guard to driver with, op with optional reply. So that's function 11. There you go, and then not in use. Function 13 is the Sanders. Uh, Sporex valves, disposal air dump, and then obviously you've got directional auto fade cab lights, which is function 17. Speed dependent flash enabled detonators. Headlights, train mode, train at number one end. Headlights, train mode, train at number two end, and then you've got your windscreen wipers, and that's it, I think. Yep, yeah, that's all run through. So, obviously, it's turned on now. So, let's see if it makes that really famous class 91 sort of noise as it pulls away. <laughs> that took off quicker than what I thought it would. <laughs> Bloody hell. Wow. So yeah, it does make that noise. I was just watching it and that just quickly picked up speed. I thought, bugger me. Wow. That's, the acceleration is quite phenomenal. Alright, we'll just move it back the other way. Just going to have to do that again. Without rolling it off. So 
there for a move. There we go. It's a little bit of a slow process putting away. But then obviously it is for the real thing anyway. There you go. So one thing I noticed. Sorry, it's come off again. I'm gonna have to get used to this because it. Basically, what happens? I've gone up to like speed three, and it won't pull away until I pressed it again. And it went to speed four. Then the note changed, and it quickly pulled away. If you've got nine coaches and DVT behind it, it'll probably be alright, but. It pulls away a lot of bloody race car. <laughs> but yeah, I think um I think it's amazing. The sounds are really good. Um definitely use roads and rails. Um honestly really good sound decoder. It the what the speakers are already on, it's really easy to fit, it's simple. All I had to do was just buy it, take the body off, try and get the two screws back in. And uh we now got a class ninety one with sound, but it is like a three hundred and twenty pound model now because uh, roads and rails sound with the speakers is one two two, I think it was yeah one hundred and twenty two, and then obviously one hundred and ninety six for this before it was uh, some places are selling this for one hundred and sixty three now, so I could have saved some money, but I thought these were gonna sort of rocket off the shelf. But anyway, here it is the L N E R class ninety one. Our next review will be of that fantastic, um, the Hornby 9F Evening Star in the special NRM, NRM um, chem commemoration box. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in for my, to my videos still. Um, I'll say, I know they're not that amazing at the moment, but... It's uh, really appreciated that you guys still tune in on my page. Take care of yourselves and here it is, the LNER Class 91.